Meet our installer, Peter. Today, we're going to follow along with Peter on a simple assignment in a newly remodelled home, where we're going to install Esbear's controller CRB. CRB is perfectly suited for installation in most hydronic heating systems with solid fuel, oil, electricity, heat pumps or gas. With the heating system in this house, the family has had to manually operate the mixing valve, resulting in a rather irregular indoor climate that can feel uncomfortable. The family asked Peter to find a solution that lets them maintain a more comfortable and uniform level of heating and reduce their energy costs. With this controller, the right amount of heat is distributed throughout the house, creating a more comfortable and pleasant indoor climate. This also leads to a reduction in energy costs by about 20%. The installation time for an Esper CRB is short. You cut down on installation time and your customer benefits from a lower installation cost. It's a win-win situation for everyone. If your customer isn't prepared to replace the entire heating system and would rather upgrade the existing one, then this is a great and cost-effective solution. Let's follow along with Peter while he shows us how easy it is to install Esper's CRB. Esper gives the customer three choices. CRB 111 comes with a cable to connect the actuator unit to the room display unit. Those also wanting simple pump control can choose CRB 113, which can be used to control the circulation pump via the controller. The product that Peter is installing today is the CRB 121, which has wireless communication between the actuator unit and the room display unit. This is a handy solution since it can be positioned anywhere in the house without having to route cable through several walls. The house's existing heating system has a newly installed wood-fired boiler with accumulator tank. But to maximize performance and save even more energy, Peter installed Esper's VRG valve. Esper recommends that you always read the instructions for use prior to installation. They provide several good examples of applications similar to your project. Here you can see that the valve opening is to the left. The first step is to remove the knob and graduated disc from the valve. Next, you fit the shaft coupling. Actuator unit and the screw. Set the direction of flow by moving the joystick to the right for right opening or left for left opening and holding it there. Then connect power to the actuator unit. Wait a few seconds before releasing the joystick. Direction of flow is now correctly set. For best results, ensure that the sensor has good contact with the flow pipe. Esper's CRB comes factory set for a maximum flow temperature of 50 degrees Celsius and minimum flow temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. This covers most applications. Peter could choose to change the maximum and minimum temperatures based on the conditions and climate of the house. This can be done easily right on the room display unit. Press in the dial for 4 seconds. You then access the setting for maximum. A symbol with the text MAX flashes. If you want to change it, press the dial. Change the setting by turning the dial to the right or left. Confirm by pressing the dial again. If you want to change the minimum temperature, turn the dial to the right. A symbol with a text MIN flashes. Press the dial to change the minimum temperature. Change the setting by turning the dial to the right or left. Confirm by pressing the dial again. To return to the main display, Press the dial for 4 seconds or simply wait 20 seconds. For best results, check the heat distribution in all rooms and that all radiators are working. In the room where the room display unit is installed, set the radiators to max to prevent limitation of the controller. 
In other rooms, you can set the radiators to max and then later turn them down to the desired temperature. In this example, the wireless version comes in handy since there are several rooms and floors. Avoid having the signal travel through heavier objects like metal and water, such as an accumulator tank, as this could disrupt the signal. Peter decided to install the unit on this wall because it is centrally located in the house. There are no heat sources nearby and it is easily accessible for the family to make adjustments. A tip is to avoid positioning the room display unit where it will be hit by sunlight. The room display unit is preset to 21 degrees Celsius, so no adjustment is necessary. But if Peter or the homeowner wants to raise or lower the temperature, this is easy to do. Turn the dial to the desired temperature and confirm by pressing. Quick and easy. Now the family has an indoor climate that is uniform, comfortable and easy to control. An inexpensive investment that will reduce the family's energy costs by about 20% while at the same time improving their indoor climate.